Good day, everybody. My name is Ms. Mabue. Welcome to Grade 12 Business Studies. Today's topic is unprofessional and unethical business practices. We will be focusing on the application questions for today. Right. The application question, number one, it reads as follows. It says here, read the scenario below and answer the question that follows. We've got the name of the business is Miss G Paints, which is MGP. Miss G Paints is a local paint factory. MPG advertised a 20% discount for the first 30 buyers, which was never granted. Mm. Mpo promised Grace a position as the new secretary if she would have a relationship with him. If she would have a relationship with him. And then, the company does not declare all its income to SARS. Lucas, the truck driver, does not always return to the factory after making deliveries. He uses the business truck for private trips. Hmm. A lot is going wrong in this business. Right. Remember I said read the scenario and answer the questions that follow. Identify different types of unethical and unprofessional business practice from the scenario. Motivate your answer by quoting from the scenario. Right. Number one. Now we know that in this scenario, it speaks of unethical and unprofessional business practice. Remember I said to you, a lot is going wrong in this business. And then it says here, motivate by quoting. What do we know about quoting in business? That is when you quote, you take it word for word. You do not change anything. Verbatim, as is, nothing should be changed. We do not cut sentences, as is. So motivate your answer by quoting from the scenario. That's what you need to do. Right, let's start now. Right, unethical business practice. We need to go back to a scenario. I hope you have seen our unethical business practices from the scenario. I hope you got the answers. Yes, you're correct. Our answer is unfair advertising. Now, learners, please do not confuse uh, false advertising with unfair advertising. The correct answer is unfair advertising. If you write false advertising, the answer will not be recognized. So the only answer that is recognized as an unethical business practice is unfair advertising. Now, the question said to you, identify the business practice and then also motivate by quoting from the scenario. So the quotation goes as follows. MGP advertised a 20% discount for the first 30 buyers, which was never granted. I hope you can see nothing was changed here. Nothing was added. We took it as is. Remember, when they say motivate, the question said by quoting, quoting as is. Nothing should be changed. Now we move on. The second one, we've got our second business practice. Yes, that one, you got it correct. It's tax evasion. Right, the company does not declare its income to SARS. Remember, they are submitting false information or false um, financial statements just so they can evade taxation. So that is an unethical business practice. I hope you have seen it's still the same. We did not change any quote. We did not change any sentence. We did not add anything. Motivation, it is like that, verbatim. Right, now we go to our unprofessional business practices. If you've identified three unethical business practices, you are wrong. It was only two business, uh, two unethical business practices. Now we go to unprofessional business practice. Let me remind you of the question. It said, identify different types of unethical and of unethical and unprofessional business practices from the scenario. So from our scenario, we only identified two unethical business practices. So now the third one, now we know, is unprofessional business practice. Right. So what is our unethical business, unprofessional business practice, rather? Right. We've got sexual harassment. We are reminded of our scenario. They said, Mpo promised Grace a position as the new secretary if she would have a relationship with him. So sexual harassment, I'm going to give you this if you give me that. Don't forget that a position. So Mpo promised who? 
there's a promise that was made to say, only if you're going to have a relationship with me, then I will give you a position. But if you're not going to have a relationship with me, forget about the new position. So that is unprofessional. Right, we go to the fourth one. Right, it's unauthorized use of work place, resources, or funds. So what happened there? They said he uses the business truck for private trips. So it is private. It's for personal use. It's not work-related. Therefore, it is unauthorized. You are costing them the business money. So if you're costing the business money, where are we going to get money to pay your salary? Because what are you doing? You are using the business money or the, the business truck for your private trips we don't know where you're going, but it's just private trips. So you are costing us big time as a business. Right. The last one is the abuse of work time. What is happening here, Lucas, the truck driver, does not always return to the factory after making deliveries. Now, Lucas, where do you go after making those deliveries? We do not know. You're supposed to be at work. You signed the contract. You signed the contract that you're going to be at work between 8 and and five o'clock. So you were done by three o'clock. We don't know where you went. So that is unprofessional because it's abuse of work time. You get paid to be at work between eight and five o'clock. So as it states there that the truck driver does not always does not always return to the factory after making deliveries. So you are abusing work time and that is so unprofessional of you, Lucas. All right. So those are the application questions. All right, let's go back to our question. It said identified, we've identified, and we've motivated. So that is it for the first question. We're going to go to a quick break. I'll see you just now now.